chapter in India, specifically. We are on the 63rd day of the lockdown. I mean, uh, we've been seeing that, uh, you know, uh, there have been positive signs of recovery. Uh, people are moving out for a little more than essentials. Uh, we are also listening to plans of ending the lockdown. So, well, uh, all in all, some great signs, some great optimism and great positivity out there. Why we say all this, ladies and gentlemen, it will not be wrong to say that, yes, COVID-19 has actually engulfed the entire world with the coronavirus pandemic. You know, it has, in this entire crisis, uh, while we've been, you know, contemplating, talking about the VUCA world, we've been talking about uh, volatility, complexity, ambiguity, uncertainty. In all of this, in midst of all of this, there has been something that has kind of changed when it comes to our outlook towards life, towards how we do business, how the economies are changing around us. Everybody is talking about new normal. During all this crisis, ladies and gentlemen, two sectors that have largely seen a lot of disruption, A, is health, and B, of course, education sector. Education sector in particular, ladies and gentlemen, has surely seen a great disruption. And well, what I think is, this disruption is surely going to be for more, uh, it is going to be more constructive, it is going to be more progressive, it is going to be more collaborative and more soul stirring uh, for every stakeholder that is involved into the education sector. The pandemic surely has made the entire education system, you know, across the globe, you know, actually adopt into online teaching. Well, when there is so much happening around from learning institutes to virtual learning, ladies and gentlemen, yet ultimately the strength lies in the faculty and the institute nature. So let's hear it all. We have a great mind to speak on this wonderful and wisely chosen topic. We have Mr. D.K. Bakshi here, who's the chief mentor, who's an amazing motivational speaker and the CEO of Global Talent Company. I must say he's been inspiring millions of lives across the globe, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be speaking a little more about him a little later as we get started into this webinar. Firstly, uh, I would like to say a big thank you to Shiva Shivani Group for bringing me on board and a bigger thank you to DK Bakshi sir for having me on board to moderate this wonderful session. Ladies and gentlemen, now let me bring the man himself, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Uh, Selesh Sampati. Uh, he is the Vice President and the Deputy Chief Executive to Shiva Shivani. And like, uh, like uh, D.K. sir describes him, you know, that he's actually a noble education leader. Rather, he's the A, B, C, D, E, F. Maybe the alphabet will be finished, but you know, the adjectives will fall short to kind of describe him and his entire persona and aura. Like I was saying, yes, a noble education leader with attitude, brilliance, commitment, delivering education and fostering genuinity. Ladies and gentlemen, to get us started on this great panel, now I would request Dr. Selesh Sampati, sir, to please kindly grace this wonderful webinar with your thoughts and, you know, your words. Friends, uh, from across the globe, and uh, particularly the members of uh, the Sivasivani family in Hyderabad and uh, Vizag, uh, Bakshi ji has been a very, I should say, a talented speaker. And uh, whenever I have heard him or uh, people from Sivasivani have heard him, or for that matter, anybody else has heard him, they feel rejuvenated automatically. So he's, I, I would say, a, a plethora of uh, energy. And... Uh, I've been trying to get him to address us for quite some time now. He's been busy with uh, webinars, almost two webinars each day. And uh, having, at least most of us having heard him uh, quite recently, uh, I thought it fit that uh, he should address us and uh, show us the way forward in, in these uh, times of the pandemic. I thought he is probably the, the best person to show us the way forward. 
I probably won't uh, want to take any more time, but to have uh, Bakshi ji speak, and uh, I would rather uh, want to be a, a listener than a speaker. And uh, all those adjectives from A to C or uh, A to G, whatever uh, Sangeeta ji has been uh, saying, is uh, penned by Bakshi ji. And uh, in fact, uh, the moment he, he sent a copy of the poster to me, I said, uh, why don't you take my photograph of that? And he said, uh, he wouldn't do that. So I had to leave that to him. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it feels wonderful to hear uh, Bakshi ji and uh, the kind of uh, energy that we are going to get from him is going to take us definitely through this pandemic. Over to Bakshi ji. You have to unmute Sangeeta. Administrator has to unmute Sangeeta first. The administrator has to unmute Sangeeta first. Sangeeta, you need to take control of this. Yeah, okay, unmute it now. Thank you. Thank you, Dikhi sir. Thank you so much. And thank you, uh, you know, Shelly sir. Thank you so much. I mean, you know, listening to your talks and listening to what, you know, Dikhi sir spoke to me about the Shiva Shivani group, I actually feel there is a great uh, beyond professional connect. There is more of a family connect. And as you said that, you know, you, you feel so warm to welcome him back. And I'm sure in just that casual, uh, you know, conversation that I was having with him and he said, you know, Sangeeta, it is amazing. Though I've not been able to go there, uh, you know, uh, uh, physically, but it is so nice to be here with this digital, uh, with this digital and virtual uh, uh, format. So yeah, I'm sure the mutual uh, feeling uh, has really given me that kind of a great energy here, a lot of positivity and a great emotional connect. So that's wonderful. And on that, of course, uh, you know, uh, our, to our man, uh, DK sir, ladies and gentlemen, DK Bakshi, well better known as Mr. Energy, Mr. Motivator. At least he's been that for me since the time I have known him in the last 15 years. You know, he actually has an experience of, of around three decades in HR and business excellence. He's worked in three continents with 17 countries and nationalities and is well-known HR leader globally. His focus is usually on turning global to global in order to keep the localized environment strategically to the top while thinking local. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, thinking global, I mean to say. And on that note, I also want to share that, you know, known as a, a true global Indian, he actually promotes Indian uh, businesses abroad and helps Indian entrepreneurs to go global. His signature programs such as Roadmap to Success, uh, well, DNA of Leadership, and my favorite, romancing with destiny, just like the name says, right? We're in constant romance of our destiny. <laughs> you know, and all these programs have been very well loved, liked, appreciated, and respected across the globe. Well, he's associated with the Indian, Thai, and other global organizations where he is continuously been supporting, building communities and businesses to simply drive excellence. He founded a global talent company nine years back uh, from Bangkok, Thailand, now spreading it over to Asia, North America. He's, he's been conducting programs in countries like India, Thailand, Laos, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Malaysia, Singapore, Bangladesh, Ethiopia, Afghanistan, and of course, North America. A little more uh, about global talent. Ladies and gentlemen, Global Talent is one of the top service providers at the United Nations. And like, uh, you know, DK sir believes that it's perseverance and passion that results into great performance. He always says that you are global, I am global, we all are global. And above all, I must say today, now that we are here with the Seva Shivani group, ladies and gentlemen, education excellence is in the DNA of GK, sir. He's very passionate about it. So let's bring on 
DK Bakshi. Ladies and gentlemen, how I wish I could ask all of you all to clap out loud. But wherever you are, all of you, I want everybody to kind of give a nice warm round of applause while we are all muted. <laughs> DK, sir, all yours, please. Just if you could uh, mute, uh, unmute DK, sir, please. I request the host to unmute DK, sir. we are anxiously waiting to hear him and uh, if my admin is listening to me could you please unmute dk sir yes you know you have to wait a little more longer for all the good and the great things and uh, we have a great mind here ladies and gentlemen uh, so Yes, as he gets started, I'm sure that each one of us will simply be glued into his thoughts. He's simply amazing. Like I said, I've been known him. I have been knowing him for last 15 years, and every time I meet him, he's a ball of energy. He's infectious. He and and when we tell him that he's he's actually the Mr. Energy or the Mr. Motivator, we just don't say it for the heck of it. Trust me, I'm sure. I I was listening to everybody in the pre-panel discussion. You know, when people were just connecting with him, and everybody said, "Sir, your enthusiasm, your zeal is totally contagious." And could we have the admin to please unmute the mic for DK, sir? You know, while while we are doing this, I I, I must uh, I must say uh, one of the mantras that uh, at least I have been living my life, which kind of has been inspired uh, by DK sir, is ladies and gentlemen. कि कहते हैं कि ज़िंदगी को जीने के दो तरीके होते हैं. ज़िंदगी को जीने के दो तरीके होते हैं. पहला ज़िंदगी में जो हासिल है उसे पसंद कर लो और दूसरा ज़िंदगी में जो पसंद है उसे हासिल करना सीख लो. And I guess in these times of crisis. you know whatever your passion is whatever your likings are whatever that you really want to still go out and achieve there is no way that anything is going to be stopping us go out for your goals and uh, you know also a big uh, thank you to all the faculty members not only from shiva sevani but across the education sector who've actually been the front liners you know they are the real warriors where we've been talking about nurses and doctors and all the paramedical staff i think uh, uh, they've not gone on a holiday as well our professors our faculty members have been there there has been a great dynamic shift that has happened from offline learning to of course now online learning and uh, it is so amazing that how immediately they've diversified into it and they've really adopted so well so i guess reskilling our faculties you know adapting 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 is the mantra Uh, for the education sector and that is so very much conspicuous and so very much visible around to all of us and i think there's some technical glitch uh, that has happened and we're not able to unmute dk sir could we have the host to please kindly unmute dk sir whoever was controlling the mic earlier and that is what actually ladies and gentlemen technology does to you it will always have its pros and cons it will always have its boon and curse and uh, but well somewhere it has all kept us going it has all kept us together you know while we've been talking about social distancing we're actually seeing that how well because of this particular technology we've been able to keep connected we have been able to you know have these webinars we've been able to reach out to our people to our customers uh, you know to to all our stakeholders for a matter of fact and yes a big thank you uh, you know to this great transformation that has uh, you know how seamlessly entered into all our lives isn't it uh, commendable
Yes, Dikhi, sir. Yes. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Yes. Okay. Finally. <laughs> I just, I just needed your moments of glory, so I was just trying to steal your thunder by doing this. Ah, finally, <laughs> well done. After all, I'm a student, right, sir? So I was just trying to take away a little bit of thunder from you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So, oh. you want, we are all waiting to hear from you, sir. Please. Uh, first of all, I am a little emotional. Namaste. Salaam alaikum. Satsariyakar. Good evening. And like Namaste, Samadhi Kap. And some of you who have traveled to Bangkok know about Samadhi Kap. A lot of people have already come to Bangkok and they know what Samadhi Kap is. Dr. Sati is saying, yes, yes, yes. So, uh, thank you, Sampati Ji. And in fact, Samadhi Kap, when I say, I can see Achan in Narula already there in this, uh, in this workshop. He's already there in this webinar. I can see him already there. So you don't have uh, participants from uh, India only. You have participants from everywhere. There are participants from even Afghanistan. There's a women empower lady called Unchi Zada from Kabul. She is also there. There are people from Singapore and there are people from other parts of the country who are already part of this event. Can you hear me? Can you hear me clear? Hello? Can somebody tell me you can hear me clear? Sir, I'm sure even if she can hear you, she may not be able to respond because her, all the mics we've kept yeah, but on. Are you able to hear me clearly? Uh, I'm asking you, Sangeeta, are you able to hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Very clearly. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. okay. Then let me go ahead. <laughs> First of all, I must thank my dear Salish Sampati ji, who is my brother, actually. Some of you know about my relationship with the family. And uh, in fact, I am the elder son of Madam Arti. Arti ji meri ma hai. She is my mother. And Salish is younger to me. And I am the first. In fact, Siva Sivani has been part of my life. And it runs in my DNA. Some of you know about it. Some who have joined later probably must have heard about it. I don't know how to say, but when I look at Arti ji, I clearly look towards her as my mom, as my mother. I want to tell you, in fact, I lost my mother exactly a year back, uh, Abaji, who struggled and slogged whole life for her children as the umbrella of our family. Ladies and gentlemen, my mom was only 41 when my father passed away, he was 46. 
So you can understand my age was 12 years old. My elder brother was, I think, 15 year old. My younger, younger daughter, younger sister was 10 year old. And my younger brother was eight year old. So we were a family of yatim. Jisko Urdu mein yatim bolte Jinki father ki death ho jaye. Or ek maa jiski 41 saal ki umar ho. Or 15, 16 saal ki umar mein uski shadi hui. During, before the, uh, uh, before the, uh, in the, before the partition. Because you, as you know, my grandfather was killed by Kabbalis, the Pakistanis, because he was a big businessman. He was killed by them and my father had to do Antim Sanskar after four days after his death. So we come from that background of Kashmiri family. But I am talking about my mom and exactly one year back, she left us, but she's watching us, all the three brothers, and sisters, she's watching us what we do in life. But then this mom of mine sitting in Hyderabad has been supporting me, has been guiding. She has been a big force to us. It is my family. And I salute the commitment and passion of Sampati family and the faculty to drive excellence in education at various institutions whether it is led by Salish or Neeraj, whosoever is leading it. I am extremely happy today that we all are together as faculty members this evening. And it could not happen when I could have come personally to be with you, which we were planning last eight, nine months, but we could not do that. I also keep traveling three to four flights in a month. And since now the most of my family are in Canada, so there's a lot of uh, disturbance in the family. I am in Asia and my Ushaji supports me sometimes in India or Bangkok, but otherwise everybody is in Canada. I don't know whether Professor Kamalkar is around. I have a great respect for Guru of Siva Sivani and I, he is my mentor as well. Professor Kamalkar has been one of a great personalities our Siva Sivani family has got. I am not sure whether he is around with us. Sangeeta, thank you for being here. Sangeeta was asking me what is that so much of emotional cord with Siva Sivani that I had to tell her a little small story about Siva Sivani and my association. And Sangeeta comes from a Bollywood background and she worked for a couple of movies and then she is uh, doing the role of MC in various shows. And we met in way back in Calcutta for a show and then Bangkok many times. Her passion of learning management and leadership brings her today here. And uh, she is very keen to go ahead with leadership and uh, management thinking. And she has been doing a lot of webinars now getting people around. She has been part of my family. And uh, in this uh, journey of COVID, which I turned from a face-to-face -face person to a digital person, from a zero digital person to a massive digital person, I think Sangeeta Varsha, who is my colleague in Noida, India, Pia, they are all uh, supporters of it, training me and making this thing possible. Sagita, you will, uh, she will certainly be doing a very effective moderation. You must have seen some glance of it, but she will have a tough role when she has to get all the questions answered by me. That's more important. Sagita, get ready for that. Yes, sir. So I, would request, I would request all the attendees uh, to necessarily keep on putting your questions into the QA box so that I should do 100% question answer. And since my guests are here from Afghanistan, Thailand, Singapore, and other parts of the country, even they have any question, please do not hesitate to ask. There are a lot of people who are already there coming from various districts. Professor Kamalkar is already there. So thank you very much. And Professor Kamalkar, you are a mentor and a teacher. My hand holds pronouns to you.
Now, I am not going to talk about COVID. I am not going to talk about coronavirus. You know, all of us know about it. What I am going to talk about is the three R which I built up for you. Role, responsibility, regenerating you as faculty beyond COVID. So I will focus my talk more on this three R. All these eight, nine, 63 days, we have all learned what COVID is in the initial stages. We never thought it will be so tough, but now we have got used to it. Our immune system also is getting used to it. And we have to live with this. We can't help it. Whether you are a businessman, whether you are faculty, whether you are student, whether you are black, whether you are white, whether you are Russian, whether you are American, whether you are from Vijayawada, or you are from Kashmir, or you are from Afghanistan, you are from Delhi, we are all common people. We are all are human beings. So therefore, living with this is necessary part of our life. Then how this coronavirus will get out of our life, finally, which is a question mark. So I don't want to talk about coronavirus, I don't want to talk about COVID. But what has happened and what is the role of faculty, which I talk about three R, that is what I would like to discuss. And the first R, which I talk about is the role I need not to tell you what your role is, but I would little give you an overview of your role in order to be on the same page. The teaching role of faculty is actually a mission, whether in schools, colleges, business schools or universities, as faculty members, you teach, you disseminate and you impart basic or applied knowledge to students and assist these students with the learning process and applying the knowledge. Due to this impact on students, this sort of mission or service is possibly one of the most important for faculty to perform. Faculty acts as advisors, as mentors, in a number of ways, as they work with students on daily basis. Where I see the role, five roles, your role is a resource role, one of the top roles as a teacher, to make sure that you are a resource specialist. Second role is support. Students are one who need support when they are learning new skill or knowledge or information. Third is mentor. That is most important role when teacher is like a god and you keep mentoring the student. Fourth role is helping hand, which is rather holding, hand holding <coughs> to a student to pave the way to futuristic world. And the last role is learner. Learn new ways of education while teaching students of different age. As new age learning is certainly important to keep faculty updated with the requirements of the teacher. I have been doing last couple of years a program called Game Changer for the faculty development. I have done it in uh, internationally in India. I have done near about seven, eight programs starting from Delhi Technological University. It's a game changer because it is no more teaching the way you were teaching 10, 20 years back. So this is what your role is. I am not saying something new to you. Your duties certainly include teaching students on the curriculum with planning, preparing, 
and delivering lessons. And you are providing educational and social guidance to students with signposting them with your specialist areas of advice when needed. But I stop here. This is what you know. <coughs> I thought to reinforce it. But now, beyond COVID, I personally believe that there is a sea change in entire concept of working, living in this world. In fact, we are all going through this transition, whether we are a father, mother, son, daughter, brother, sister, student, corporate leader, supervisor, a community worker, or even a business tycoon, or even a politician, any person in the world. And we all know that this COVID disaster is giving all of us an opportunity to realign, to rebuild, and reestablish and reinforce new ways of living and working. Then why not faculty? Again, I am saying, then why not faculty who are responsible for the future generation of this world? I am not talking only about India. You are responsible to develop the future generation of my country, the powerful India, which is going to be the powerful India of the world, as well as the world. Because faculty is the most important catalyst for change in the world. Actually, I believe the teacher, the faculty, is and will drive the pace race beliefs and character of world future generations. I repeat, actually faculty is and will drive the pace, the race, the beliefs, the values, and the character of world future generations. And when I talk about world future generations, it involves our kids also. So faculty is nation builder, rather faculty is world builder. So whether there is Unchizada from uh, Afghanistan, when she is teaching her children or students, or Raja Lakshmi is teaching in Hyderabad, or Mr. Jagota is teaching in Faridabad, we are all faculty who has to understand that this essence of life, which will drive the world into the futuristic vision with the new orbit we talk about. Padma Shri Pritam Singh talks about next orbit. Having said that, therefore, the subject of three are role, responsibility, and rejuvenating. Faculty is the key subject of the faculty already to you. But now I am going to deliberate and share with you new three R I personally built up for you. So my first R is role, which I talked about, which is novel here. But what do I say this? I have a reason to say. While the main role which I gave you just a few minutes back will not change and you need to do it, but here your role now change is going to be something very different. And I am talking here about the role is going to be M-O-T-H-E-R, mother. Faculty is exactly like mother of a child. A mom, 
a mother. And mother takes care, you know, who is mother? We talked about our mom, most important person in our lives. Your life, your life, your life, your life, everybody's life. A mother does things for the child without expecting anything in return. Dr. Kiran Bedi, other day at the Women Power Program, we had with near about eight country women leaders and speakers, she said, mother is quality. I repeat, she said, mother is quality. I see a lot of women here in front of me. That is a fact. Mom is quality. She said that no other person in life can beat the quality which mother possesses. So when we say mother is quality, and when your role, which I am saying in new terms beyond COVID, is mother's role to the child and the child is student, whether it is a student of primary, secondary, business school, engineering, whichever uh, level it is. So even if I am 55, to my mother, I am a child. So even if you have a primary student or a secondary student, or a graduate or a postgraduate student is like a child for you. So you are teaching as how to be a different aspect. So therefore, when I look at mother, I look at she. S H E, power of mother. I am talking about first our role. Mother's role as she. She is mother now. And how do I, I repeat, S-H-E, she. And I clearly talk about she as S as safety, H as health, E as environment. This is the quality of a mom. When a child is born, she wants to keep the child safe. She wants to give health, healthy food, healthy intake to the child. And she wants to create the best environment for the child. Education comes later. So when I mean she has safety, that is the nature of the mom. Your first and foremost role now, before starting teaching, whether you are doing online or maybe in the next few weeks or a month, you go into the classes, is the first letter of she, safety, safety, safety. You need to ensure that you are yourself safe first. In an aeroplane, when we sit with a child and when the air hostess talks about putting this oxygen mask, you know what air hostess says? She says, put the oxygen mask first to yourself and then to your child. Normally a mom will put the oxygen mask to the child first, but now the air hostess says the instructions are clear. Please put the oxygen mask to yourself first and then to the child. That means safety will start from you as the mothers as the faculty of Seva Swami or any other institution. So you have to be safe yourself and you have to ensure 
that your kids, your students are 500% following the safety norms. Whether it is sanitizers or any kind of precaution. Yeah, I mean, when the business school, schools open already, a clear SOP, a standard operating procedures, have to be consistently, persistently follow to ensure that you and your students remain the same. That is the role, first role of viewers. I'm not talking teaching yet. Teaching I've talked about. You know already talked about. You know about what you are. But I want to impress upon mother the first letter of safety. Second part then goes to the help. H. This is where your role to share the tips of being healthy. You need to share Communicate normal circumstances, probably we were doing it. Some of you must have already been doing to your children, to your students, but they were not listening to us. You must also understand that. Because now it is more important for you to ensure to talk to them about being healthy so that their immunity system gets much higher. Because we don't know. Today, this is Corona. Tomorrow, what will happen? Food intake. You know what has happened to our world of new generations. They are in the world of zomatization, pizzaization, burgerization, pepsiization, cocaization, civicization. So, he suddenly last. 10, 15 years, entire world has gone into civilization and somatization. And all these children, the future generations, are completely into this kind of food intake. But you must have seen during the lockdown, we went to the basic food items. How to ensure you share them the beauty of basic healthy foods and drinks. How do you ensure you make them to understand if they get into aloe veras, amlas, kiloes, their immunity will increase. How to get them out of the junk food and go for healthy food. This is a challenge. But under the concept of you being mom, mother, as I talked about and as I talked about, safety and health. And also, do you ensure that they get into daily exercises, yogas, pranayams? Entire world is doing pranayams and yogas. But when you talk to Indian children, they find it funny. But when you talk to an Australian kid, or when you see an American or a Swedish guy, or a Japanese guy doing yoga, or a Thai or a Singaporean, they find it interesting. Why our Indian children find it funny? This is the role where you as mothers have to change and break this nonsense of our children not getting into pranayams, not getting into yogas, which is our power of the world. I am in front of you who is doing yoga completely morning 45 minutes. That's why I've got this energy. I am on aloe veras and amlas. In Bangkok also we get aloe veras and amlas and yogis. <laughs> so, how do you change the mindset of the children? If you are able to do that, you are adding a great value to the future generation of this country. And making them, which I always talk about, youngest star, 
Yangistan, Yangistan. I call them Yangistan, powerful of the world. Prime Minister Modi talks about Young India. And how do we make Young India possible when they are safe, they are healthy, their intake food is healthy. So I covered under the mother, under the role, safety and health. Now there is a third element, which is E, which I talk about environment, engagement, and excitement. I call about threes. Listen, my dear faculty, to build up the teaching role is to build up an environment in the class. With total engagement and excitement, how can this come? This can come only when you are closer to their minds. If you talk about teaching methodology of what we were teaching or we were taught 30 years back or even before COVID, they would not like it. It's all boring. The objective of mine here to create this environment where in this young India, young world, youngistan would get attracted to have fun, to become funny with them, give them the tools, exercise, simulations of funny games, but align them with the learning of the subject matter. These fun-filled exercises would make them to understand it quickly, smartly, and instantly. Don't bore them with lectures. Build the entire lecture series with fun. See the difference. And especially when they are going post-COVID, maybe online, maybe when you are there on face-to-face, -face, they are under a lot of stress already. They are worried about their career. They are worried about their future. They are worried about everything. So, at that point of time, in case you become a motherly treatment of she, you are actually relieving them a lot. That was the first R, which is role, which I changed to mother, only she. Safety, health, and environment, engagement, and excitement. Now let me go to the another R, which is responsibility. Normal circumstances, faculty is the main architect of the society. I call it architect. As you are the guidance to the students, to the children, who are into the stepping stones to become better professional and make a better nation and the world. So you as teachers always play an important role in shaping the personality of the students and analyzing what they actually are. I always call about, he is your best friend who takes the best out of you. You are a best friend to the student. You as members of the faculty are expected to handle your teaching assignments with professional skills. You always as faculty strive to make them good citizens of academia community, cooperative, efficient meeting deadlines, submitting agendas, grades, returning students with appropriate comments. You must be active on your committee members. You must be giving the rest of the services to the department, to the school or the college or the university, wherever you are. Ideally, you must also maintain interest in current affairs, problems of larger community, as well as education 
institutions, this is the normal responsibility which you already must be doing. I am not denying that. However, now, the responsibility which I feel post-COVID will change here, according to my thinking, like I did for first hour, bro. And I go back to mother. Under the mother, I covered in role she, safety, health, and environment, and engagement, and excitement. Now here, I want to cover the entire mom. You are the mother of my student. You are the mother of our students. I am a teacher, I am a trainer, I am a facilitator. In Narola, coming from Bangkok, is a trainer, international trainer, he is a teacher. So we are all teachers to our children, as well as when we are teaching in the classrooms. Now at this stage, let me define your responsibility. And I define with the mother. First word is M. M is magic. What is magic? Magic is supernatural force to influence. M is magic. Magic is known as supernatural force to influence. Now at this stage, students would be in complete distress, panic. They don't know about the future. They are worried about what is going to happen. One side, they have to be careful about and vigilant about COVID. Other side, they are worried about their future. Some of them are not living with their family people. They are away from their family. This is the time when the faculty turns to be the mother. And I said, mother is magic. Supernatural quality of life. Supernatural force. And this M as magic should be able to influence them. So your role, your responsibility is to be magic van for the student. That means with your ability, attitude, you need to shower the magic to the student to influence his thinking, influence his action, influence his inaction, in case he is not taking, influence his personality, influence his persona. Maybe it has turned to be negative into a positive thinking right away. The student would have questions and questions and questions. This is where magic will take place. That means you need to be magical like a god, a mother for the student with a supernatural force to influence. You need to use your influencing skills to get students going, growing, and glowing. You need to use your magical influencing skills to get student going, growing, and glowing. Talk to the student. Spend time with the student. Online, offline, face-to-face, -face, when we are meeting face-to-face. -face. You have to share the positive side of life to influence him or her to get a feel of mother's care and compassion. Mother's care and compassion. That am therefore of mother is magician, is magic. Turn your responsibility to be the magician for your student. 
Now that I go to the mother and I go to the next alphabet, I see after M there is O. And O I call about open hearted. What does open hearted mean? Opening the heart of mother. Just imagine when I am saying the mom of a child opening heart is the only pious relationship in the world. So your responsibility here becomes opening your heart to the student when he is totally in the shambles because of COVID. A mother's heart always beats for the child, whatever age the child is. These are the students in your class where you need to open your heart. That means you need to console them so much they have a clear feeling that this is mom's heart and love and compassion. Believe me, when you move towards opening your heart and also making sure that student is opening heart from his, her side, what will happen? You will resolve issues, challenges, conflicts this student will have in mind, giving them steps forward to ensure student takes rest in peace and he is in the hands of mom who will always think good for the child and the student. This class of motherly treatment would act as a catalyst to lift the attitude and attribute of the student. And O can also be overflowing. I mean, when you overflow yourself over the student, student gets a reassurance that things would be better. Student is looking at teacher as God. Again, mother is goddess. In case I get a God and a teacher in front of me, I will first salute and say namaste to the teacher, not to the God. That is the role of teachers. So till now I have spoken under responsibility M, magic, O, open-hearted, or overflowing. Now let me go to the next alphabet of this most powerful word in our lives, that is mom, mother, and that is T. And T I talk about transform. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, the faculty here, you are transforming the world. You are transforming the future generations of my country. You are transforming the future generation of my world. And transform means that you are changing the form or appearance of anything. In other words, when we say in Urdu, Pathar ko hum tarashte hai, stone, we make a better one and we sell it in that is where you build a brand of an institution and a build a brand of that child. So your responsibility here is to transform the student when you already work, worked on magic and open-hearted, now it is very easy to transform. Because you have already done a magic, the way you are handled, you have been open to the child, to the student, now to get into transformation, it is not tough. You've already crossed a couple of stages. M and O have made us a strong base to set the ball rolling and making and building this student to transform from a particular process and thinking and getting him to work towards building the future. That is important for us to understand that any transformation 
would be painful. But if we are consistent in our approach, and if we are genuine in our approach, we have a total belief in our process of making sure we are there to win and transform. It will become one of the most easiest process of this possible. Therefore, this tea of mother is another solace to student and reassuring that it is possible to transform the student to the next level of life and the process. It is not only the teaching that you are building the future leader. It is the humane approach, more human. You are building a personality of a person. Go, set, get, and go win the heart of student with your transformation style and skill. So here, till now I talked about mother, magic, open-hearted, transform in the second part which is responsibility overall in case i start what we talked about role where i again talk about mother but i talk about she safety health environment engagement and excitement and then when i went to the r responsibility i have talked three alphabets of mother magic open-hearted and transform. Let me go to the third R now, which is rejuvenate. What does the rejuvenate mean? Rejuvenate means making something better, making something vital, even to restore it. Such a powerful statement of rejuvenate. So what you do here, let me share thoughts on this when we talk about this third R. When we see post-COVID, this R is actually a game changer in the entire three R. Here is an essence of rejuvenating the concept of education excellence. I am now trying to complete the mother. I did share with you in responsibility form. Now I am left with H-E-R of mother. And H-E-R again is part of mother. Her, she, mother, her. And let me dwell on this part of mother. You know what is H? H is heart to heart. H is heart to heart. What does heart to heart mean? Frank, but very candid. This is surely important in rejuvenating process when you are heart to heart, getting the student to open up, getting the student to share his personal issues, family issues, professional issues, thinking issues, mental frame issues, physical issues, stress issues. That is where mother can really be heart to heart. I say it very strongly. When you get married, you get a partner and you believe I can do heart to heart? Yes, sometimes. But the real heart-to-heart -heart is between mother and the child. I am not disputing our wives or our, you know, better halves. But I want to tell you frankly, the real heart-to-heart -heart is between mom and a child. So you are playing a role of heart-to-heart no other relationship in the world can be heart to heart the way the mom can be. Therefore, why don't you place your heart to heart with students, see what happens. It is surely adding value to the first word of magic. That means 
when you are bound to do heart to heart with the magic, the entire process will rejuvenate exactly and firmly. You will actually excel in the responsibility and regenerating the process of education excellence. And the next one, when I talk about E of this mother is energy, energy, energy. Energy, energy, energy. And what's energy? It is the strength and the vitality of sustained physical and mental activity. In other words, that is regenerating yourself. Mom is energy. Mom is the power of energy. This is the really the role to revitalize the student, get him into rejuvenating process by offering and showering your positive energy. Energy will quicken the process of student into the mainstream beyond COVID. Energy will drive his future as the power of energy, which generates the essence of student to take new, tough, difficult challenges because of post-COVID. And whatever happens, in case you are on this motherly path, which I am saying, you are building road for success for the students. Energy is to be transmitted. Energy is to be transmitted to students by putting them into action, 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 and action. How can you as faculty keep energizing your students always? In respect of the fact, you might be yourself into difficult circumstances. You will question it. Will that be possible? If you make it possible to be energetic, even if you are in tense situation, and shower energy and positivity to the student, do you know what happens? And challenges will also go away. Because you are talking to the universe with a positive energy. Even if you are yourself into stress, this positive energy which you are overflowing to the child, your own issues will also get away. That is the power of energy of a mother. Try to do it, faculty members. Hey, my dear teachers, exactly try to do it. Get into action. And now I come to the last word of this mother, which is R. And R is refreshing. Oh, ma ke barabar koi refreshing cheez to hai nahi. Refreshing to the child is the biggest God's gift of a mom. So here the role of faculty to keep refreshing the students for a big task, big project, big thinking, big mission, big vision. Big opportunity. The solace mother's lap gives a child is the beautiful indeed. How can you as faculty develop that skill, the refreshing skills? I am building a new competency framework. The refreshing skills, influencing skills, magical skills. That is where I come from. So refreshing would mean care, concern, hope, compassion, and love to the students. So this entire process would become rejuvenating. So what I have done, I have shared with you normal role of yours as faculty, which is surely part of your DNA as teachers, and it can never go away from you because you have been teaching for many, many years. But I have put you forward three R role, responsibility, rejuvenating in a different concept. In this concept, I talked to you about mother. I began my talk by role with she, safety, health, environment. And when I 
went further to responsibility and rejuvenating. I picked up mother concept, which I said, M as magic, O as open-hearted, E as transform, H as heart-to-heart, -heart, E as energy, and R as refreshing. What I am trying to say here, that you will have to change completely to be the mother to students. Many of the teachers must have already But my idea is to reinforce. I am doing a hammering effect on the thoughts so that it's again and again hammered into the mind of teachers that they are mothers of students who are actually going to be next generation of our new great nation as well as global world. Some of you have read the book of Igniting Minds by our great president, KPG Kalam. When he did write this book and talked about 20 years back, he actually visualized the future of our youngest star. And when we see our present Prime Minister Modi, he is talking about New India. And I connect that youngest star and New India. Therefore, it is essential for you as the teachers to drive this nation with the new world of performance by building the future of our future generations and make our students the supreme power of not products and services, but people, people, and people. You are the institutional builders. You are the nation builders. You are the catalyst to change. You are the gods for students. Remember now, if I get teacher in front of me, I will salute the teacher and not the God first. I will rush and touch his feet because I believe teacher has changed my life. This is the essence of you being a teacher. That is what the teacher is. That is why I wanted to talk to you, my dear, game changers of this world, the faculty. Now, before I tell Sangeeta to get the questions, let me give you a quick story for you to ponder. I mean, I would like to challenge you to be mad. M-A-D, make a difference to students. Therefore, hear me by this story which I am sharing. There are two students from Siva Savani who came out from your institution, Ajay and Arvind. And they joined a management as management trainee in the same company and they had a common manager. Achan Hindi says magically motivating the change agents, teachers, lecturers. Achan will come back to QA. I'm seeing your questions. So these Ajay and Ajay and Arvind joined a manager in the same company as a, a management trainee with one manager. After six months, the manager calls Ajay and congratulates him and gives him a letter of promotion and makes him assistant manager. When this was happening, Arvind was looking at and he felt miserable. He felt he had also worked hard during the year but there was no promotion. He felt a pain in his heart. Even he decided to put up his resignation and go away. Arvind felt that management is not recognizing and rewarding the hard work as he had also worked very hard during the last six months of tenure. He went to his manager with his resignation letter, saying, I don't deserve to be here as I also worked hard, even more harder than Ajay, but the management is biased and gave promotion to Ajay and not me. The manager looked at Arvind and really said, you also really worked hard, <clears throat> but Ajay got the promotion <clears throat> due 
to some very specific reasons. At this stage, the manager said, wait a while for the resignation. Let me give you a small task before I accept your resignation. Arvind said, sure, sir. Let me know what can I do. The manager asked Arvind that please go to the market and see if there is a scope to pick up some good quality product of water melon. This company was a company of FMCG trading. So Arvind went to the market and found out a vendor and said, yes, sir, there is a vendor who has good quality product of water melon. He came back. The manager said, anything else? He said, no. As I said, there is a good vendor available in the market. He again asked Arvind, can you share the price of the product? Arvind again went to the market and he came back and he said, sir, the cost per kg is INR 13 rupees. Manager said, anything else? He said, no. That's it. Now, manager wanted to help Arvind to understand what was lacking in him. So the manager asked Arvind to stay back and let me get Ajay now and asked him the same question. The manager asked Ajay that he had gone to the market and this is what the question is. Ajay went to the market and he came after four hours, five hours, and said, I am back, sir. It took me some time, and I can share the details with you. He said, oh, okay. Let's call Arvind also. The manager got both Ajay and Arvind to sit together in the room, and he asked Ajay, let me know what you have done. Ajay started responding and see what he responded. The same task was given to Arvind also earlier. He reported to the manager, there are many vendors of watermelon in the market, but I found out of all these Vendors, I found the best quality product with one of the vendors. He said, okay, then. He said, cost is around INR 12 rupees per kg. He said, what else? He said, he has 95 melons in his stock. Each consists of seven kgs. He said, oh, okay. He said, not only that, his farm can supply us melons for next six months. He said, is it? And he said, not only that, he can give us a price in case we give a large quantity of six months, only INR 10 per melon, per kg per melon. And if we go for a deal, it would benefit us strongly. The melons are excellent in quality and taste better than what we sold last year. Further, he also has an option of cutting the slices because he has a slicing machine and we can even slice, he can even slice for us. He said, is it? Sir, not only that, he can also deliver at our doorstep without any extra charges for delivery. We need to strike a deal with him by tomorrow 10 a.m with INR 10 rupees per kg. And if we go for this deal with him, sir, you know what will happen? Our company, we will surely beat last year profit in melon by INR 223%. Contributing positively to the overall FMCG market of our company, 15% additional profit and the quality of product will also increase and our bandwidth with the customer will also increase. Sir, I have got all this information in writing 
and I have made a spreadsheet and can send you within the next few minutes. Arvind was listening everything what Ajay was sharing. Arvind got really mad. He understood the difference between him and Ajay. Arvind realized what he was lacking. And he really changed his mind not to resign, but to follow the steps that Ajay had done. Both had worked very hard, but Ajay had worked very smart. Ajay had gone into complete detailing of the entire process with research and development. What I am telling you today, both students from one institution, same qualification, same manager, same product range, same salary. My dear faculty, you are responsible to build Ajay's of tomorrow, not Aravind's of tomorrow. In case you understand my story, your role with students' responsibility in regeneration is to create Ajay's who become Vijay's, not Arvind's. Because you need to create and develop these students to be the future leaders of tomorrow. It is not hard work, but smart work. It is not what we do, but how we do. It is not important that makes us different and stand out. It's about doing things, but going extra mile that brings us awards. It is not only looking at others, but looking at oneself as a teacher, whether I am contributing in the same fashion where I produce IJs. When I am sharing here that you are the teachers who need to pro produce IJs of tomorrow, have a look. What is missing link and why missing link? Why don't you think that we teach students to go to details? Hey, teachers, only you, only you, only you, and only you can do it. As I said, you are the institution builder, you are the corporate leader builder, you are the community leader builder, you are the nation builder, and you are the global leader builders. It's up to you to decide what 3R means to you in terms of role, responsibility, region of aging. Let's not think about this session as just a session of what we have done on webinar. <laughs> what is suitable for you? On the session, and what is your action plan to change the concept? So, here I close my session and I will have seven tasks. Wow. DK, sir, listening to you is always a delight, and I've always seen you with copies around, and today, there was such an emotional connect when you spoke about teachers and how beautifully you've defined, rather I must say redefined their roles from being teachers to actually the mothers that they are going to be. And how beautifully you said that, yes, it's all about safety, 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 safety. It's all about health, 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 environment. This is really, really amazing how beautifully you carved out for us the role, the responsibility, and rejuvenating faculty and thank you for leaving us with this very you know this was a, a story which was very uh, it, it was inspiring but at the same time it kind of touched all our hearts as you said yes it's time to build ajays of tomorrow who will become the vijays and not the arvinds that is simply amazing thank you sir there have been such amazing comments which are coming in and people have been reiterating everything that you said from you know, she to mother to every time. And you make it so simple for all of us. You know, you give us those alphabets and how beautifully you carve out a story out of it. It is so amazing and such a delight to listen to you. So we, we, uh, 
right now we don't have any questions here so friends in case if you have questions please keep uh, oh, yeah but rather we've got a lot of you know everybody's been that magically motivating the change agents the teachers lecturers facilitators to shape the future of the world of india and your own future let's have a, Adam, let's have a question from you bega bigba let's have a question from you unchi zada let's have a question from you and then there's somebody sir who let's says have a, question from you. a teacher is always a student and a, and you know a teacher continuously mr in narula from Uh, is saying something. Yes, sir. So, yes, Achan In. You know, Mr. In Narula came to Hyderabad in 2011. I'll try to I'll try to bring him live in the chat. I'll just unmute him and let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me. Yeah, uh, doctor. In Narula, you have a question. Yes. Narula, sir. Yes, sir. You can talk. I've unmuted your mic. You can yes. speak. Why do I? Why do I see you? Yes. Let 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 me try to see. Start video. Hello. Can yes. you hear me? Yes. Can you hear? Me? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. Doctor Bakshi, uh, first of all, a great presentation by you, and and I think you have defined the role of. the lecturers facilitators teachers brilliantly i i compliment you on that so one very big question how do you translate all this into action maybe any steps from your side any recommendation it's not easy uh you know we we know what we have to do but putting them into action can be a big challenge your comments sir absolutely that's a very great question and mr jagota is also saying something mr subhash jagota from faridabad is joined now i think uh, in narula some of you know he was with me in hyderabad at shivasmani when kiran bedi ji also came with us how do we put it in practice we heard a lecture today and we are very happy we gave a comment and we go and sleep and forget it maybe we keep it for one or two days dk bakshi said this fine it's gone it's like attending a training program you got documents fine but there will be some of you and i am sure that is the reason in narula sahab i said put up in your paper with your thing 1 2 3 4 5 which you feel you can translate into action every thought is followed by action and put an action plan that i can do this with this and put this paper at the mission of your life transform your role responsibility regenerating process that this is the mission i need to do you may not follow my entire steps entire concept you may add your own concept but i am trying to change your thinking thoughts become things only by action 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 so in case you can put a small action plan of a b c 1 2 3 in next two months three months and start working on them and tell your other faculty members to appreciate you to question you deliberate among yourselves as faculty or whenever you are meeting or interacting and make it your balance sheet of your life then only it will happen otherwise in narula sahab it can never ever never ever happen so when we talk about rebuilding and reestablishing the role of faculty it has to be written down it has to be actioned and while taking action there will be issues let's discuss but take action do not 
sleep over it. Action is important. Am I right, Alchardin? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. Great. Somebody Just uh, one more. Uh, one more point. Uh, well, give, give him the mic. Give him the mic. Yeah. Yeah, you said something. Your mic was off. Microphone was off. Ah, can, can you hear me now, sir? Hello? No, now we can hear. Okay. Yes. Well, what I'm saying is, you know, you are, you are a master in SWOT analysis. So which SWOT analysis? The personal SWOT analysis of us lecturer help to build a roadmap so that we can implement what you have recommended today. Sure, absolutely. Could, could you maybe elaborate a little bit on SWOT analysis, sir? The strengths what you have. W is weakness, I don't call it weakness. I call it work on areas of improvement. S is strength, W is not weakness. W is work on areas of improvement. O is opportunity and T is not threats. T is transforming solutions. So you can make a small SWOT and start acting. That's what this thing is possible. Achan has been the teacher himself at Assumption University of Bangkok for 15 years as a professor as well as dean of Assumption Abak University in Thailand. And you know him when he drives. And Afghanis people know him. He came to Kabul and Mazari Sharif with me. We went to train senators and teachers and 60 top leaders of Afghanistan. So Afghanis are also seeing him right now. Then there's any question, Sangeeta? Yes, sir. Yes. Any then, question? Another question uh, uh, that, you know, that how do you retain the online, uh, no, how do you retain the uh, student's attention on the online mode, basically? Now, we are doing online, it's tough. But what you need to be doing is, you need to be follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. So even if you are doing a session of one hour, two hour, then you are doing a follow up. That follow up action is very important. So in case you give a gap between the session now and the entire flow is lost, you will have a challenge when you are doing teaching online for the next three months, four months, some of, some of the places. You need to create timelines for follow up and response. Timelines of follow-up and response. Timelines of so quick follow-ups are very important. Then it can be retained. It's possible. Mr. Jagota is asking something from Faridabad. Just see Mr. Jagota. Mr. Jagota, are you there? I can see you. Sir, there is another question. Yeah. Shall I? Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. there is uh, Daman Johar and. Uh, wants to know that, you know, what do you think will be the biggest challenge with students post-COVID? The biggest challenge is their apprehensions and their negative thinking about what is going to be happening. And that is the reason I gave you the motherly treatment. We know that we are all human beings. We all are going through a pain, a process of pain, which never ever we have gone through last hundred years. So what will happen at this point of time? The student will be in pain. So motherly treatment is, I gave the steps mother, take them out of the pain. So first, do not talk about education, talk about she, safety, health, and environment. And then go to your magic, and then you go to your other aspect and go to education. It is very important for us to ensure that we talk about first their health, safety and environment, and it will not go away from us. And get them into your magic band, influencing skills, magical skills, responsibility skills, and they're part of it. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, somebody, and first I'm gonna unmute her mic for us, and she wanted to speak to you personally. So let me, yes. I'm able to, I'll just get her, Give me, a, give me a second, sir. She wants to... 
come live and she has a couple of queries. Yes, so, please. Okay, I'm going to unmute. Uh, okay. Madasu, I have unmuted your mic and uh, you can speak to us, please. Sajji, it was nice talking to you in the beginning. And as the introduction goes, you have done a great job. Thank you for that. Bakshi ji, good evening. Namaskar. <laughs> Sir, uh, before I ask a query, let me make it very clear. Uh, our leader, SSIM, young dynamic doctor, Silas, sir, will not let us forget this session. He will make us work on these aspects all through the coming years. <coughs> so thank you for that. And uh, my query are simple, sir, because you are in connect with many people across the world. How do we take it forward now upcoming days like online and offline words are the frequent words and we are going into a blended mode. So two queries I have. One is according to you, how could you define a blended learning in the given situation? Because blended learning we always had in the mind because we are having MOOCs and all that stuff. Second question is there would be certainly a gap between online and offline. So how do we justify this to the customers who are the end customers are the parents and the students? Maybe this may not be the direct question related to the theme what we have proposed. But because of your exposure, just I wanted to know from you, how could we deal with this type of situation? Thank you, Sangeeta ji. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I think Mr. Chuan Thakur from uh, Thailand is also asking some question. We'll go to that later. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this is very tough for us. And this because it's not only the students and parents, you will have to look at the final intake, the corporate world also. Yes. Even the corporate world is expecting our students to be ready made. And in present circumstances, where there is a disruption, how do we challenge this disruption? I talk about she, I talk about mother, I have to certainly talk about that our curriculum, which is not done, which is left in between, has to come into the online aspect till we go on board face to face immediately and instantly. I think you must have already taken steps as faculty members along with Sally, sir and Neeraj that you must have already started delivering. If you have not done it, I think you need to sit down right away and build a roadmap of looking at your schedules immediately and instantly with the students. Because otherwise, in case there's a gap, you have already, we have already gone through 63 days of lockdown. Some of the universities I know that I'm involved and some of the people who have been talking, I have talked to a couple of business schools and engineering colleges have already started massive online courses with the students. So you will have to immediately begin the process of creating online short solution to the students and keep them, it's new for them. Uh, shall I tell you something? Ah, sir. I, I was not an online man at all. But within a short period of time, I became a complete online man. And please don't think that I am earning any money. Last eight weeks, my company has zero invoice. Whatever I am doing, I am doing free of cost to the entire world. Only because I believe it is my contribution. Even Sangeeta is coming free of cost. And you don't know her charges. So I told her that we are not doing anything. I mean, this is all free. I am supporting the people around the world. I have got people from 18 countries in my lectures. Free of cost. Why this passion? So therefore, you have to sit as a team. I can create, in case Sally G wants, while sitting here, I can create a team for you 
to start working on the online process immediately and instantly. Every day we need to sit on this and create short courses. We have not to give the break. We have to blend it completely, which you talked about. And when we go back to the classrooms, we should have really impacted the students to come into that frame. We need not to lose time. Whether it is Sardha Madam, whether it is the Swadhyaya Madam, whether it is Madam Rajalakshmi, anybody and everybody. You have not to sit. In the lockdown, you and your, I sat only for one week of lockdown. Every day from 8.30 I am on and I work 13 to 14 hours per day. And I am not working for money. I am working for my passion and madness to create and support in respect of caste, creed, gender, nationality, color and religion. Because that's my passion. So therefore, your role is to start now in case you are not Whatever you have done till now, put it into a framework. It should be become a strategic framework for Seva Sivani group of institutions. With, again, I am talking about, you will have to give roles, responsibilities to various people. Alone, you can't do it, but you have to start it now. And these students, wherever they are, whether they are in Hyderabad or they may have gone home, you have to get them back on this. And that means there will be a lot of gap. Then you have to push them and get them back. It will take a lot of time. This is the time to hit them and get them on. The Don't waste time on this. Start now. Make a roadmap. Make a clear, directive roadmap from Seva Samani. Do it now, not tomorrow. Hope I have given a response. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are already on that process, but we wanted these inputs from you. We started case, long back. In case you need any you. support, I have supported one or two institutions. I can support you as well. No problem, anytime. I am Shiva Sivani. I am Shiva Sivani. You are Shiva Sivani. I am global talent. You are global talent. We are all global talent. I am ready to support. I am available. Don't think that I am busy. I am not busy at all. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, DK, sir. Yes, as you rightly said, time is now. Sir, now we're pouring with questions, but we're already on 6 o'clock. So I'm going to be sharing your email ID with everyone. And uh, or you will be taking... Up, just pick up one or two. Just pick up one or two. In case there are somebody from Thailand. Somebody from Thailand, from Thailand they are just saying, thank you. You're a blessing. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. Education is not supposed to be just given... Uh, just, uh, you know, given, but also taken. And uh, then there is one question that we've all been talking about remote learning. So, you know, how do you connect students emotionally um, uh, to them in this, uh, in this remote learning? How do we? How do you connect emotionally? Will it be possible in this remote learning to connect to the students emotionally? Absolutely. Today, we are not able to connect uh, in a way, but Tell me we are not emotionally connected, we are more emotionally connected. I am doing one call almost every week with my childhood friends, three friends, a WhatsApp call, who were my classmates. And we shared the beauties of what we were doing when we were children. I have not been talking regularly to my brothers and sisters, but now these days it's completely regular and we are emotionally connected. And, and today, world is Zoom, Skype. I think there are more emotions flowing. I am talking to my both children in Canada, morning as well as evening. Normal circumstances, we used to talk only on weekends. And whatever they cook, whatever we cook, we share it. Then the things are wrong and things are tough. I think emotions flow more. I cried the other day when my mother's one year was to be celebrated, but three brothers were at three different places. We were supposed to be at one place to celebrate full one year, but we could not do it. And three brothers, three places, my elder brother did Havan, and we all cried. Three brothers came on WhatsApp, more emotions. Till we hug, we are people like we hug, we kiss, Till we hug and kiss, and Kiran Beji does like this on the uh, uh, Zoom. 
she always says, let me hug you, let me hug you, let me, she does like this. And she hugs like this one too. I think emotional connect is not only when you meet physically, I think it's more emotions flowing right now. Absolutely. And I think that is what is also very needed, that entire emotional quotient today. More than the IQ, I think it's the EQ that has kept us all connected together. So another question is that, you know, today, how do you make parents understand their role in this entire crisis? While teachers are surely working towards it, but then today, because students are spending more time home, at home. So how do you make parents comfortable in the, in the changing scenario? Yeah, I think uh, parents have also learned a lot of lessons during the COVID. We were very easy as parents when our children were studying, which is the responsibility of uh, the teachers. Sorry. Parents had no time for children, rather, because they were busy in their rat race. I call it rat race. But today they have realized that this rat race finally is not going to lead us anywhere. What will I do? I earn another two million dollars. Will I take it with me to when I uh, go uh, to that world? I think parents have already realized, and in case you can just ignite their mind little, and they have started connecting with their children stronger during COVID days, and even children have started connecting with their parents. So this is the right time for us to really push parents and make them partners. I always talk at institutions that there are three major partners in this. The parents, the student, and the faculty. All the three partners right now are ready to be together. So they know what's going on. They are themselves going through this process of uh, social distancing and this process of pain. Let's little start talking with him. And I always talk, it's only communication, 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 and communication. Well, Acharya keeps on adding and communication. So when we start communicating, we don't communicate. When we start communicating with parents, we start getting a response. When we start getting a response, we get a buy-in. When we get a buy-in, we form togetherness as stakeholders. And they, are the, they are the parents of the child, finally. That's how it can happen. Yes, sir. Yes, Sagita, next. There is another question that, you know, uh, uh, sir, have, uh, having been with the industry for three decades and more, how long do you think will the Indian economy take to start moving upwards from the present situation? Beautiful question. And I have said in many programs, uh, I think uh, India is going to be certainly benefit by COVID. COVID is not the right thing. But post-COVID, I think the entire world is looking at India as one of the biggest suppliers to the world. We will have the manufacturing strength we, will, we can work on the Make in India concept of Prime Minister Modi. India will, will certainly be one of the powerful nations in the world in terms of becoming supplier to the global world. There is certainly a faith and a trust in Indian, um, uh, Indian values, Indian systems. But the only thing is that Indians have to be a little disciplined. Should not pull legs, pull down people and should be disciplined and put us a hygiene. Hygiene again, Indians make coffee, both kushu mein. There's a lot of hygiene factor which is getting. And saaf sutra ban jaye. We can attract the entire world to this nation. And we can be better. In next three to four to six months time, I'm giving the time frame, it will be different post -COVID. This is the testing time of ourselves right now. But we are under the great leadership of Prime Minister Modi. We must be thankful to God that we are born in an era when Prime Minister Modi is the Prime Minister of the country. And in COVID, he is the Prime Minister. Certain steps by him have been phenomenal. Personally to me, in case 
I say about my organization, he has benefited, no doubt at all. I'm talking overall as a nation. Personally, he has not. I have been fighting with Mr. Gadkari through the uh, India SME Forum to reduce GST for our kind of services, which was not done by the finance minister, which personally I am upset. But then overall what is being done, so Indian industry, I think in next five to six months is going to go up and we will have a better future. We will come out with better winners out of this epidemic, whatever has gone into our lives. We will become better uh, global suppliers. But we need to be disciplined. We need to be trained. We need to produce quality products. And we need to deliver in time. No goalie Yeah. Thank you. She sent me a question from Afghanistan. Anyhow, uh, so, okay, okay, anyhow, in case there are no questions, let me know how we are going to be doing. So, anything else? Mr. Jagota, thank you very much for joining. Are you there? You want to say something? Mr. Subhash Jagota, he also came to uh, Hyderabad when uh, in Narula, Kiran Bedi, Dwarika, all my friends came. Mr. Jagota, are you there? No, sir, he's not here. He must have gone now. Yes. So, yes. thank you very much. In Narula for joining, and the people from other parts who have joined, and uh, I would finally like to say this three R: role, responsibility, rejuvenating is a role of a mother. She, safety, health, and environment engagement and excitement, and the mother's role, which is magic which is open-hearted, which is transforming, which is heart-to-heart, -heart, which is energy, energy, and energy, which is relaxation. Faculty become mad. You should become mad. M-A-D mad. Making a difference to the future generations of my country. Because they will become your brand ambassadors of Sivasmani around the world. And they will say, Sivasmani ki jai, Bharat Mata ki jai, Pande Matra, Pande Matra, Pande Matra, Bharat Mata ki jai, Bharat Mata ki jai. We are proud Indians and we are proud global Indians and we will make a difference in the world of business, in the world of community, in the world of society. We will respect all cultures, all nationalities, all religions, all colors. That is what Indianization is. And we will spread Indianization around the world. That, that is what I can say. And I, I would like to thank uh, uh, Sarah Sampadiji and the entire team of faculty from Vizag to Hyderabad for listening to my thoughts. In case you have any questions, please do not, please do not, please do not hesitate to write to me. DK Bakshi at globaltalent.co.in. You can Google my name and get my details. Our Sivasivani family, everybody, most of the people know me. And I respond to every question before I say, that's for sure. Let's get in touch. So that is what I can say. Yes, uh, you want to close it with uh, Sakita? Yeah. Thank you, DK, sir. Thank you. Like always, great pleasure. It's amazing to witness your sessions and absolutely feel inspired and encouraged. And I'm sure all the teachers, all the faculty members, the entire management here from Shiva Shivani is absolutely rejuvenated in a role that you've just redefined for all of us, which is, of course, the she, of course, the mother that all of us need to bring out in us in these testing times, in these pressing environments. I really cannot, I mean, after hearing to this wonderful, you know, uh, to this wonderful talk of yours about this great group here, I can't wait to travel with you to Hyderabad and be there and, you know, uh, you know, be a part of this great motivational story. So a big thank you, DK sir, for introducing me and putting me on this particular panel. A big thank you to somebody, sir. Thank you so much. A big thank you to everybody out there. Thank you, friends. Hope there is a lot that you've taken from there. At least all the comments there have uh, said that yes, what an expert session, what a motivational session, how awe-inspiring, how encouraging and you've got all those kind of adjectives uh, actually pouring in. 
so thank you all of you for showing all the love to keep interacting with us keep chatting with us and with that this is sangeeta saying a big thank you to dk sir once again a big thank you to global talent once again signing off now for you please each one of you have a very very beautiful day ahead a very wonderful life a safe life make sure you're staying home and still you know being the front warriors that you are thank you everybody thank you it was a great pleasure for me to bring this session to all of you bye bye good luck and good night shubh ratri bye bye